Hello everyone, this is Antonio Beeler with the Brome with another update. And as you can tell, we have a new aquarium. That's a pretty exciting update. If you go to our social media pages, our Facebook, Instagram, or our Twitter pages, you might see this graphic. This is something that one of our learners had uh, started, and on it is a picture and the name of every single type of fish in here with the name that was given by the Abrome community. Of, of all of these fish, my favorite is definitely Fred. Um, he's a Molly Miller Blenny. So go check that out on our social media pages. Uh, we've had a great, great last couple of weeks. And this weekend, I had the opportunity to represent a brome at the Austin School Expo in East Austin. And that was really great because I was able to talk to a lot of families who had no idea that self-directed learning is really an option for them. They felt that children need to learn through coercive schooling tactics. So I enjoyed talking to them about how their children can be happier, healthier, and more successful if they go ahead and opt out of schooling for something such as unschooling, a self-directed learning environment, or a brome, an emancipated learning environment. On top of that, I encourage some of them to come to the information session at Open House in two weeks, Saturday, October 14th, and I encourage everyone out there who's watching this video to do the same. There we will talk about what is emancipated learning and how is it that children can learn without coercion. Speaking of which, I also am giving a free presentation on October 17th. It's called Motivating School-Aged Children at the Laura Bush Community Library in West Austin from 6 to 7 p.m. Um, and so I just feel like this month is a great month for families who have previously felt that they need school in order to educate their children for them to learn that that's simply not the case. That children can be happier, healthier, and more successful outside of a traditional hierarchical course of learning environment. And uh, to hammer that point home, last week we covered Summerhill School by A.S. Neal at the Smart Schooling Book Group. So we've been hosting at the Laura Bush Library, we've been hosting every month a book uh, in the Smart Schooling Book Group. And this month, we talked about this school that's been around since the 1920s, where there's no required courses, where children basically have free reign to engage in any type of learning that, that they want to, so long as they're respecting other people. So this idea of self-directed learning, of children being free to learn, this isn't new. This has been around for about a century in a formal school setting and it's been very very successful and it's been replicated in various ways through other schools to include the Sudbury schools here in the US so um, it's possible it works in fact it has better outcomes and I just want to assure families out there that you can educate your children in a way that honors them respects them and where their health and happiness remains intact but speaking of the smart schooling book group Coming up at the end of this month on the 26th, we will be covering End of Average by Todd Rose from Harvard University. And this is hands down probably one of the top three education books that come out in the past decade. Uh, this really challenges um, what the purpose of schools are, uh, how they operate in our society, and whether or not our schools are doing more harm than good by comparing every child to a mythical average child. So that's the update for Brome. Uh, we have a lot of exciting things coming up this month. Um, I want you to watch our blog as well because there should be some great blog posts coming out over the next couple weeks uh, from Abrome. So go to abrome.com, check out the blog, check out our admissions information, check out our Emancipated Learning tab so you can learn more. Thanks a lot and I'll be talking to you again next week.